ऑल आई मीगोज दिस इज सोमवेर एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल मैकेनिक स्टूड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर इलेक्ट्रिक मोटरसाइकिल बिल्ड वी विल स्टार्ट डिजाइनिंग द बाइक फ्रॉम स्क्रैच एंड बिल्ड इट कम्प्लीटली द मेन मोटिव बिहाइंड स्टार्टिंग दिस सीरीज इज टू प्रोवाइड सम गाइडेंस टू द अपकमिंग इंजीनियर्स बिकॉज I remember when I started my engineering projects there was no proper guidance on internet or web if I do a google search I was not able to get a complete information about the projects so I try to help the new engineers using this so this is the first part where we learn about the bike frame and different terminologies that is used in designing and different software and different components that are required to design a frame we will be designing the frame in solid works so without further ado let's start our project so we are going to design our frame in solid works i assume that you have some previous knowledge of solid works before we start the video also there are some terminologies of the design which we should know before we start the design these terminologies are rake angle trail and offset rake angle is basically the angle between the line passing through the center point of head stock and the vertical line rake value is commonly known as caster if we have less rake angle it will take us less effort to steer but bike will be very unstable in a straight line if we have more angle we will require more efforts to turn but bike will be very steady at high speeds and helps maintain a straight course sports bike dirt bikes have less rake angle while cruiser bikes have larger rake angle the ideal value of rake angle varies between 17 degrees to sometimes 45 degrees next is our trail trail is the distance between the line that is passing through the center point of head head stock and vertical line passing through the center of the wheel to the contact point of wheel to the ground if we have less trail we will require less steering effort and we will have less high speed stability if we have more trail we will have more straight line stability and we will have to give more efforts to turn in a corner the typical values of trail lies between 55 to 75 mm offset is distance between the center line passing through the head stock and the center line passing through the forks this offset value is mainly used to decrease or increase the trail without changing any value of rake angle now that we know the basic terminologies of the bike frame then we move on to the basic requirements before we start the design some of the things that are required before we start our design is stuff like what is the wheel diameter what is wheel base of the bike what shockers to be used what is the ride height i have already assumed these things and i will tell you during the design so basically there is a project i am doing on a bike which is bajaj discover 125 so i am using various parts of that bike which includes wheel fox rear suspension and the head stock so let's go to our design so this is our final design but i will guide you through the process of designing it i will not be able to show you the complete designing process as it will take a lo lot of time so first of all if we say here you can see that i have used the diameter of wheels as 503.8 for the front 521.8 for the rear and the wheel base i am using is 1305 So now it's time to set our rake, trail, and offset. The rake angle I'm using here is 25 degrees because uh, we are keeping the rake angle in between because we don't want super sports bike or a cruiser bike. We are looking for a middle range. Also, the trail here I'm setting is at 92.64 with the offset of 45. One important point to note is I'm all doing all the measurements in mm, and we can change the settings from bottom right corner of solid works by clicking on this and we can use different settings meter kilogram second centimeter millimeter inch pound etc so once our basic requirements and the basic sketch is set then we move on to the next step the next step is to make a basic 
diagram of bike frame so that we can start working on making a 3d model it may seem a little clumsy but once you start doing it it will be very easy first what i did was i know the length of fork of discover is 675 mm so from the center of the tire on the axis which should be passing through the fork i took 675 mm and with the help of the offset value which we already set i used it to take the measurements of headstock which is this one and the length of headstock is 170 mm which is also from the discover 125 now we can also set our different uh, measurements such as the distance between the tire and the seat uh, this can be set using the uh, wheel travel of the suspension then what we can do is if we hide the dimensions we can see that first of all uh, what i did was i took the dimensions of the batteries which i want to use and the dimension of the motors the battery i am using here is Excite Eco 12 volt 40 AH and the dimension of this is 197 mm by 129 mm by 227 mm and the motor I am using is CY Gold 1000 watt motor BLDC motor and the dimensions are 200 into 150 into 150 so I try to keep all the batteries at the center of the bike frame so that I can get a good CG and I've tried to keep the motor at an optimum position to get good results next what I did was I created a basic diagram around the body of the bike we have tires we have forks we have rear tire and we have some measurements so we can use it to draw a rough sketch once we are done with the rough sketch then we move on to the next step of making it 3d model 3d model is basically 3d sketching where we can extend these points where we need to draw our frame so if we if you can see i have used the points on the basic or the rough diagram and i expanded them in the 3d view so that i can make a 3d wireframe using which i can use the weldments feature on a small part of bike i was able to do the 3d sketching on the next part with the help of some different planes and different sketches I was able to get a complete wireframe of the body as you can see I have used different planes according to my needs to get a complete wireframe of the body I will not be able to show you the complete process but it is just to give you a basic idea of how you can create a body frame let's hide this again once we are done with all the wireframe of the body then we move on to the next step making weldments on our wireframe in the weldment section we are using three types of pipe we are using one pipe for headstock section whose diameter is outer diameter is 45 mm and it has thickness of 1 mm which is this one now we have main pipe which we are using on one and two section this one and this one and the diameter of this pipe is 35 mm into thickness 1 mm then we come on to the secondary pipe these all pipes are secondary pipe whose dimensions are 25.4 mm diameter with 1 mm thickness to give a rigidity to the frame next we are using tertiary pipes whose diameter is 20 mm and 1 mm thickness once we are done with the weldment we can see that the pipes are not trimmed properly if we see there is a pipe coming between the headstock section and this is just example we have this issue throughout the frame if we hide our main sketches now as i was telling you that we have some extra pipes throughout the frame as we all know there is a feature in our weldment section of trim and extend so we trim the pipe wherever required it will take lots of time based on the requirement so as you can see here it took me around 
12 to 15 trimming features to make it a complete body okay so now we are done with the trimming the last step is to provide it material and some color if we click on this here we can edit our material and for the demonstration purpose I am using grey cast iron and if we apply this we will get this material applied to our frame then we can change the color of the frame by editing the appearance of it like if we click the edit appearance we will get a small dashboard from where we can select the color and ok also we will get to know the weight of this frame using the evaluate section in this if we click on mass properties we can know the weight as we can see here the mass of the frame is 3034 grams which converts into approx 3 kgs so this was the process through which we can design our frame as per custom needs we have as I am using 4 batteries I am using this kind of frame if I am using different batteries or different motors I will be designing it in a different way the objective of the video was to explain you how this process is done so that you can do it in your way so try it and if you have any confusions please let me know in the comment section so in this video we were able to design the frame from scratch although there may be some changes as we do the fabrication or as we go along in the design process also in next few videos we will try to design different components of our bike such as battery motor fogs wheels etc so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any upcoming videos thank you